every night here on Fox 9 on your side, we like to take a closer look at the weather. Yes, we do, and maybe learn a few things while we're at it, uh, from kids even. Yeah, exactly, Scott. That's right, Sienna Elementary School was a school this week that I went to with a great group of kids here. We learned all kinds of things about what the kids were interested in, and uh, some great questions have come in, and here's one question that we have not had yet this year. My name's Monet, and I go to Sienna Elementary, and my question is, what is a thermometer? What is a barometer? Excellent question there. And it's a weather instrument that's used to measure air pressure. And we talked a lot about a barometer. I even made a homemade barometer in class. I would have brought one with me, but I've been making them all for the school, so I don't have any here anymore. <laughs> but I will tell you, the barometer you may have in your house right now is called an aneroid barometer, and a barometer measures air pressure. So if you see something like this on your wall, it's usually with another couple of dials. One of them is a, a thermometer measuring temperature, and one of them is a hygrometer measuring the amount of moisture in the air. This is a barometer, and so this is a pretty standard one. You'll see the black needle right here, and you'll notice these numbers on all of them, 28, 29, 30, and 31. So if you've seen a barometer like this and you're wondering, what are they talking about here? The reading for this would be 29, let's see, it's 29, it's 29.5, so 29.12, 29.24 is about what this reading is right here. That's a pretty low pressure right here, and so there may be a storm near by lower pressure means a storm is approaching higher pressure means that it is generally fair weather and that's why you'll see here rain changing weather here and fair weather uh, there so this is an aneroid barometer now, there's some other barometers around as well this is an aneroid as well and it shows again atmospheric pressure the atmosphere has weight air has weight 14.7 pounds per square inch is on top of our is coming down on top of us all the time, and that weight of the atmosphere pushes down on this little cell here, and as it squeezes it, it causes this needle to go up, so it'll be higher pressure here and lower pressure. Now, our standard barometer, the way they were first invented back in 1643, is done with mercury. There's, they're hard to find right now, but what happens is, is the weight of the atmosphere pushes down on a pool of mercury here and is sent up to this tube, and the weight of the atmosphere, because of how strong, uh, how heavy the atmosphere is, it would force the column of mercury to rise 29.92 inches. So when you saw that number on the aneroid barometer, it's actually saying how high a column of mercury would climb up through a tube of glass here. And so as it goes up and down, the pressure would change. And so this is not as a easy of a, an instrument to be carrying around. So the aneroid barometer is a lot more standard used now. But again, you have to adjust this for different elevations. Our pressure is lower because there's less atmosphere above us than if we were living down along the ocean. And so all barometric pressure readings are adjusted to sea level so that everybody's on the same playing field. So pressure is real interesting, but the kids grasped it very well at Siena Elementary. So a big hello to all of the kids there. Uh, and Pressure's a tough one. You know why? Because you don't see it. You can't see the air. So right. It's really hard to understand it. Well, Scott, I was just thinking about some people say they can feel a storm coming because they feel it in their bones. I mean, is there anything to kind of that wise statement of, you know, feeling the pressure or something? Wonder, absolutely. It's more in the joints, okay? Oh, okay. And because it has, it has to do with pressure and the rapid change in pressure, up or down, and the amount of moisture in the air as well. A lot of times mm -hmm. it's the pressure, the rapid changing pressure, things, your, your joints are expanding, and so they're causing a little of extra pain in there. Uh, so and that's so, yes, so there's, absolutely. there's truth to there that. There you go. There's definite truth to that. <laughs> All right, <laughs> thanks, thanks God. God. Well, what's the point of doing 